An e-scooter rider has suffered head injuries in a collision as a new probe finds WA footpaths have turned Wild West danger zones. Researchers are asking authorities to intervene and make it safer for pedestrians. Our footpaths have become like the Wild West and it's survival of the fittest. That's according to new research into electric scooters. This one's rider was taken to hospital this morning with facial injuries, colliding with a cyclist along the Swan River. Researchers at the Charles Darwin University and the University of New England argue that by sharing the footpath, pedestrians have been left at risk to essentially defend themselves against fast-moving personal mobility devices, which can inflict serious and even fatal injury and it is proposed that authorities intervene to reset the balance more justly in favour of the pedestrian. That means separating man and machine. I certainly would encourage the state government to look at this with the road safety people to work out what is a safe and effective solution. It follows a string of brutal crashes. Eight-year-old Lily Ritzker is still recovering, sent flying 10 metres across a footpath in North Coogee last month. Very shocking and very painful. The McGowan government says it's working with police to protect pedestrians from e-scooters. Our health minister admits she's not a fan. I know my daughter would really like one. Um, I'm not keen. E-scooters and pedestrians can coexist, according to our local retailers, who are quick to point out the environmental benefits and say sales are speeding up. Frustration for WA paramedics, on average called to an e-scooter crash every second day, most of which involve life-threatening injuries. Michael Genovese, Nine News.